Good morning, St. John's. I hope you're doing well. Last week, in light of the death of Thich Nhat Hanh, the Buddhist spiritual teacher and social reformer, I found a podcast, random, random podcast, that was an interview with him uh, several years ago. And in this podcast, uh, he was asked about his thoughts on Jesus. And it was really heartwarming when Thich Nhat Hanh was talking about Jesus as the spiritual guru. Uh, and he referred to um, the uh, Lord's Prayer. And, and uh, specifically in the Lord's Prayer, Thich Nhat Hanh was talking about how Jesus teaches us to um, uh, ask for our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And uh, what he was talking about is how uh, Jesus invites us to be fully present in the moment, not to live in the past or the future, but to say, God, I am inviting you to provide provision for today. And in doing so, in praying this prayer, we are ma being made mindful of the present. And I've been thinking a little bit about this. I, I find there's so much power in really being fully present in the here and the now. It's one of those amazing gifts that eludes us and if we're not really mindful of it, then we end up actually just um, either thinking about what's, what has happened or constantly thinking about what is to come. And one of the ways that I know this on a personal level is um, uh, occasionally I, I will go into the woods near our home and I'll sit by this creek uh, in kind of this one spot that I love to sit in and I'll just put on a, a meditation timer for 15 or 20 minutes and I'll sit in silence. And, in that space, what I try to do is to be fully present in the moment. I do this by, uh, I, I learned this, um, it's, a, it's a Buddhist meditation uh, practice, but um, what, what you do is you um, focus on your breathing and, uh, and, and you make yourself mindful of, uh, you're not a doer in that moment, you're not a doer. You're not there to accomplish tasks or think about tasks, you're there to simply be fully present. And so um, I imagine a kind of, I'm sitting by actually a stream, so it helps me in this process. But I think about all of my thoughts and everything that's going on in my life, I think of them as um, floating on lily pads. And my one job is to recognize them as they come by, as they come up in my mind, as I start thinking about things. I just, um, I picture them on lily pads and my job is to kind of just move them on along down the river. And, uh, and that way I don't dwell on them. And what I find is uh, as I kind of meditate and I think about the present and I focus on my breath, I find that my kind of my thoughts start going crazy. So I start thinking about my to-do list. I think about my emails. I all of a sudden in that stillness, I remember things that I should have done that I hadn't done. And I find kind of my nervous system kicks in like, oh, I gotta do that. And, and I have to remind myself, uh, I'm not a doer right now. My one job is to just be fully present to this moment and to just let those thoughts pass by. But here's why I'm telling you all of this, is that there are these breakthrough moments where I realize, wow, as I hear the birds, as I feel the, the cool breeze on my face, as I hear the sound of the water, and, and as I kind of sit in that moment, I realize as soon as this time as soon as that like that um, uh, meditation timer goes off and this time ends I'm gonna be thrust back into my world of doing and thinking about tomorrow and the things that I need to do and so this this moment right here right now uh, is such a precious moment because I get to practice actually being in my world without thinking about what still needs to happen or what has happened in the past and I, I realize in those spaces how infrequently I actually spend time in the present. And then when that time is over and I kind of re-enter my world, I feel like I really want to just hold on to that space and not recognizing that I will have an opportunity to kind of come back to it if I want to. Um, but there's so much in this kind of idea of being fully present that we find even in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread uh, that uh, allows us to be mindful that we are invited to be fully present in the here and now. So the next time that you find yourself taking a walk or um, hugging a loved one or having a conversation with someone um, or eating a meal, tasting something, uh, whatever it is, the next time that you find yourself doing something, 
I wanna just invite you to allow yourself to be fully present to the moment. Don't miss the blessing. What does it feel like to touch someone else's skin? What does it feel like to just hear the birds right now around you? What does it feel like to taste this and to, to, to recognize that you are able to chew and to digest and to breathe as a human being? What's it like to be right here, right now? Uh, there's so much more we can talk about uh, being fully present. It's uh, a practice, uh, it's an art that we um, have to develop in life. But uh, I am so moved and thankful for Thich Nhat Hanh, just as, uh, uh, as he kind of, as, even in his absence, is able to still impart beautiful lessons about our spiritual guru, Jesus, and how he invited us to be fully present uh, in the here and the now. God bless you, St. John's. May you have life and may you have presence today. I'll see you on Sunday.